classic truck, truck rescue. rescue welcome back to the channel folks well when we left off in the last video our entire chicken mob had been slaughtered and we didn't film anna come here come on bring your toy come on come on see see she's purposely disrupting no go lay down go lay down honey come on come on up up uh we didn't film it but our neighbors brought us over a bunch of chicks and we figured everything would be okay because we assumed that they had gone in through the chute that leads from their outdoor play area into the cab which is secured in metal so i blocked off the chute assuming that was how the perpetrator got in and the th whatever it was came back and not a hole through the only wood panel it would have had access to the cab uh it gnawed through that and killed all the chicks and that was it's kind of traumatizing wasn't it yes all yeah. those little babies yeah and jamie gets really attached to anything that's a baby anything even humans <laughs> so we made a decision that we weren't going to get any more chicks we have to have chicks it's part of our life their family does right but we couldn't do that until we dealt with the predator we had a cage sitting out when we had the new chicks we put one of the deceased chicken mob in the cage outside the cab hoping that it, whatever it was came back it would go for what's in the cage first but it didn't it chose to gnaw a hole through the wood and get the new ones so in the daytime because in the daytime checked on them checked on them first thing in the morning and they were fine when i went back an hour and a half later they were all gone except for the one that i found up in the step when i noticed they were all gone i saw the hole that it had chewed in the wood and i saw a little nose sticking out of there and so i knew it was some kind of small rodent i set up cameras and i caught some images of it going in and out of the truck un under the chassis i figured if i set the cameras on the ground i'd catch it because i had it from every angle and there's no they don't fly you know and uh not things with noses like that anyway I did catch some images of it, which I'll show you right now. After that, I decided that I needed to take the trap and put it where it wanted to go so desperately, right? So I set the cage up in the cab, but coincidentally at the same time, I think the day before the chickens got killed, Jamie had gone up to Safeway and gotten us a deli chicken. And <laughs> these things, when you walk in the front door, you go to the deli. It's right there on the left because you can smell that. It's just good chicken, right? Safely chicken is the bomb. Anyway, Jamie had taken the legs and thighs off of it, and there was just a 
carcass in the refrigerator. She doesn't like white meat, and I love the breasts. <laughs> and and uh, so I pulled the breasts off, but I left a generous amount of meat on the carcass, and I put that in the trap right under the heat lamp because I was simulating the Safeway Deli, you know, the heat lamps on there, keeping it all warm and the aroma. I activated the trap, I set up some cameras, and went in for the night. The cameras ran until the batteries expired. And when I came back the next morning, this is what I found. I really don't even like coming over here. I didn't finish cleaning the cluck and truck out. I was kind of, uh, I got the, you know, the chickens out of there. The deceased chickens are out, but I wanted to leave the feathers and stuff. Well, hello. Hello. How are you doing? You're in big trouble, mister. I have a lot of anger for you. What are you? What are you? Hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is huge because I couldn't put more chickens. Oh, thank you, Lord. I couldn't put more. You stink. You're smelly. Oh, he's smelly. I couldn't put more chickens in here with this guy still being on his crime spree. You killed 12 chickens. How do you feel about that, mister? You killed 12 chickens. Oh. Now, God, he really smells. You smell bad. Mm. so I can take a picture of you for everyone. You killed 12 chickens, six babies. Oh my goodness. He ate that entire carcass. He ate that entire carcass, the bones and everything. Wow. I mean, there's a couple scraps left, but... dangerous I think you've proven that you've proven that you're pretty dangerous you don't trust me huh well I don't trust you either to be honest with you I'm gonna go do some research on you 
I'm gonna go pray. When I saw that little thing in there, I felt so much relief. I did. When I opened that door and saw that thing in the in the cage, first of all, I was amazed because I really didn't think I was going to catch it. I knew that whatever it was was clever and smart and vicious, and I just didn't see it. And the cage had already been out with a whole chicken in it, you know. But I was hugely relieved. I thank God. First thing, and you can see it on film. Uh, as soon as I closed the door and turned around, I said, thank you, Lord. Because what that meant was that this creature wasn't going to be predating on my clucking truck anymore. You know, we could, because we knew immediately. It was <laughs> Why does it, pred, pred, what'd you say? Predating. Instead of praying? You know what I mean. <laughs> you do the same thing. <laughs> anyway, I was, I was profoundly relieved. That, the, that I knew the problem. Now here's where we run into a problem. The responsible, I did the responsible thing. I immediately contacted a, a person that I know with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. And, and do I even mention any of that? Do I? I did. Re, I, I was in contact with the proper authorities and I'm just going to tell you that I can't win. That's right. I can't win if I tell you the rest of the story like Paul Harvey, right? So all I can tell you is that I followed my heart and I did the responsible thing, right? And I don't have to worry about my chickens getting killed anymore or my neighbor's chickens. I can't tell you if I let it go. If I tell you I let it go, half of you all the people that are out there trying to eke a living out of the land and have chickens are going to say how dare you let that thing go because now it's just going to go kill other people's it already has a taste for blood rick right all that all that and don't get me wrong we value the lives of the creatures out here we love them we love all the wildlife out here. we got names for them we've you know we got the bird feeder and we got sawtooth and the deer or Dude, Chucky come right, and come right up in the yard, uh, but Chucky, Chucky was not. We understand. Look, when we got this property, I've said it a million times: bushes and trees, bushes and trees. That's all it was. So this property, nobody ever lived here, like homesteaded, built a house here, right? And so the creatures that are on this property. It was their home before it was our home. And it's not our home forever. We understand that we're just here. We're, we're being allowed to be caretakers of this beautiful piece of God's earth, right? And so the critters are cool out here. As long as they're not killing the other critters, right? Because our chickens are like family to us. <laughs> Annabelle got a new toy. Anyway, it is what it is. And the problem's been dealt with. So now, moving forward, I just prefer for you to know that I did the responsible thing as far as this creature was concerned. Chucky could, Chucky's out there somewhere. Yeah, he's out there somewhere. You're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't, right? Ah! Yep.
Fantastic Truck Rescue. Got the woodsman with me here today. And Chucky, Chucky. We're taking Chucky out into the woods to, uh, yeah. Chucky is a killer of chickens. A dozen lives in 24 hours. Say hi, Chucky. Say hi. Chucky's not my friend. Chucky is not my friend. He's an assassin. He's a serial killer. You smell him? No. Oh, yeah. No, they just stink. We had a mink. We had a mink as a pet. Yeah. Oh, look, his paws all bloody from trying to get out of there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've felt like that before, too, my little friend. Actually, you're not my little friend. Anyway, folks, we're just uh, doing the humane thing. Come here, buddy. Definitely a very dangerous little creature, though. Not good at all. Classic truck rescue. Now, the next phase is I've already ordered 10 chickens. And they're, what are they, honey? Brown Norgen? Novagen. Novagen? Novagen's. In simple English layman's terms, foghorn leghorn ring a bell. Foghorn leghorn. <laughs> well, well, yeah. well, that's not a chicken, son. Because there will be another rooster cogburn on the property. I was just telling Jamie this morning, the neighbor's rooster was crowing, and she said, well, you, no, she didn't say that. Come on. Anyway. Uh, there will be another rooster Cogburn and his chicken mob. This time there'll be nine ladies and one rooster. We'll have to call him Foghorn. No, I want to call him Cogburn. Oh, okay. We could call him Foghorn. 
You know, he did think he was a ladies' man. Oh, he did, did he? <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> For those of you who've ever watched Looney Tunes... Comment section, please, a little help. For the name of our new rooster, out of respect for Rooster Cogburn, do we continue the Rooster Cogburn legacy? Legacy. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Or do we bring in Foghorn Leghorn, the ladies' man, to deal with the chicken mob? <laughs> I think Foghorn Leghorn would be cool. Anyway, today Jamie and I got our boots on. We're going out. I've taken the old tarp roof off of the outdoor exercise area. I'm completely cleaning out the cab and their outside play area and I'm annexing a mobile this doesn't come for a couple of weeks but I'm putting a piece of culvert pipe that goes from their outdoor pen under the fence to Jet's pasture where we're gonna make a mobile pen day pen that we can load them into and then move them around in Jet's pasture so they can forage for bugs and stuff like that and they won't just decimate one spot and it'll be pretty cool we learn from our experiences out here right and when we redo something we try to do it better don't we we've learned out with a lot of things our roads uh, power water everything roofs the new roof on the RV is awesome you gotta admit it's a beautiful thing folks and uh, I won't use all yeah, this. Yeah, you don't feel like you peed your pants in the middle of the night. <laughs> you better explain that. Or they're going to be like, what? Because we had leaks? Drip. There was a drip and a slide out in the bedroom. Yeah. We learned that tarps, tarps just lead to tragedy, don't they? But uh, you haven't seen the video. Maybe I'll do it where I redid the whole roof on the RV. And it, it's been nice, huh? Really made winter nice. And I tested a new fabric on the shop in the box. No shop in the box drama this winter. We're learning, folks. Anyways, we appreciate you coming by the channel and uh, hope you enjoy the videos. Please remember to like. Please remember to subscribe. Oh. <laughs> Classic Truck Rescue. Classic Truck Rescue. Peace out. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, click the notification Thanks. bell. There is another one I was going to throw in there. What else can you do? Should Comment. Like, share. Comment is like this. No. Yeah, there you go. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, comment, and click the notification Thanks. bell. I messed up. Please remember to like, <laughs> share, subscribe, comment, and click the notification <laughs> bell. Did you get it all? Yeah, I think so. Right on. <laughs> and. And. So, in town, we meet people. There's oh, yeah. A super cool dude in town that watches the videos and stuff. And I'm a total idiot because I apologize. I should know your name. And I know you watched the videos, and you gifted this awesome truck to me to Rick. And uh, who I'm going to interrupt her rant for a minute. Whoever you are, dude in town, that thought enough to give me this very cool truck, thank you. And that the, was I'll awesome. I know that you watched this video. If the next time I see you, and I know I will see you, if you just blurt out your name to me, <laughs> because. I totally should know your name. And I've been going through the whole ABCs trying to She remember. has been driving her nuts. So I'm like, Jamie anyways. gave me a truck? I don't know who to thank on camera. So, dude in town. <laughs> That's what I'm calling you. You know who you are. And he's a truck lover too. Because he has you, a truck in his garage. I love it. And on. it says Starkest Foods Incorporated. I'm going to take a whole bunch of empty tuna cans because... Yeah, that's another video. But anyways, I'm going to have a lot of empty tuna cans. I'm going to get some Starkist and put on there. And that'll be pretty Ask cool. Ask any mermaid you, you happen, happen to, to see. see. What's the best tuna chicken of the sea? Starkist. Yeah. Thank you, honey. Back when commercials were I cool. love it when she does that. What was the one you just did the other day? Oh. 
Hold the pickles, hold the lettuce, special orders don't upset us. All we ask is that you let us have it your way. Have it your way. At Burger King, have it your way. Not we were, BK. We didn't like the new commercial. It's driving us nuts. BK, have it your way or whatever. No, BK. Let's rule. go. Oh, you rule. But the other one is... Um, we like the old one in Jamie's Two singing. all beef patty special sauce, lettuce, lettuce cheese, pickles, pickles, onions, onions on a sesame, sesame seed bun. Uh, That's from when a Big Mac was, was a, a Big, Big Mac. Mac. And you got a free Big Mac if you called up and could say, two all beef patty special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun real fast. And do you remember when a Whopper That's was like effective that marketing. big? Yeah, a Whopper was a Whopper. But you know what? I still like the Whopper. Jamie knows I love a good a good Whopper. Just just the Whopper, not even the double Whopper so much. Just the Whopper with cheese. Mm. Anyways, how many more people are we gonna do free commercials for? We got stuff to do today, folks. Right? A lot of people been asking about how Jamie feels, how you feel since your accident. I tell them you're doing a lot better. I feel good, but she still my has. Brain. I'm supposed to be studying for a test I have on May first. I need to do that today. Yeah. Because May 1st well, is right around the corner. I'm going to be working on the chicken coop and mowing all day, so don't let me hold you back. And today's going to be hair. We said peace out like five minutes ago, Janie. Hair washing day. Peace, peace out. out. But you forgot one thing. What? Your camel pack. Oh. Anyway, one of our Patreon supporters. Uh, Pastor Mark Growth. I did a short little video on his ministry if you want to go back and check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, he sent me this box a very, very long time ago. See how it's water stained in the. Yeah, Route 66 Ministries. Anyway, this box, he sent it to me a long time ago, and I forget what. There was some reason that I couldn't uh, do the thank you for it. And I forget what the reason is, but I know I still got to do a thank you for it, so I'm doing it. Anyway, Pastor Mark Growth, thank you. Uh, but anyway, I partially opened it, what, about six months ago or something? And it's been sitting out here ever since. That's why the water stains on the box and stuff. But I couldn't figure out what it was. That's what it was. I knew what it was. That's what it was. I couldn't figure out exactly what it was. So I put it away so that I could look like I knew what I was talking about when I opened it. But in reality, I don't know what it is. So it's a camel pack. I pulled I got this far. I pulled this out and I said, Oh, we need to read the instructions. Because it's got stuff. So you can strap on your fluids when you're up in your bucket and then you can just drink out of it oh, on your back. I get when I'm working on my building or anywhere really uh, and it's hot out like 100 degrees it's got o-rings and stuff and hoses that's the bladder oh and that's where the hose connects is that what you drink from Probably, and that's where you open it up. Hmm. Okay, anyway, I'm not going to put this all together because it's still winter and I don't need to be hydrating right now. But Jamie assures me that this is a very cool thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'd just be like... It does have a, it does have a user manual, honey. Soft, yeah, this will be like soft this. Soft bite mouthpiece. That's the soft your, Yeah, and then you just be like, oh, I'm so thirsty and I'm stuck up here in this bucket because I can't reach the get down button. At least I won't dehydrate. <laughs> While I wait on my wife to come rescue me. Yes. Yeah. This is cool. It is. It's very cool. Thank you, Pastor. Oh, you could even put ice Mark. cubes in it when this big. Oh, I could, opening. couldn't I? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. All right, we'll do all that. Oh, see, these guys know what it means to be out in the wilderness, relying on yourself, counting on the gear that you have brought along with you. 
it's important to us that our products get people excited to wander out into the wild and see this beautiful world for themselves to connect with the people you love and enjoy the wild with them yeah this is going to keep you hydrated till i get home from work when you're stuck up there <laughs> <laughs> awesome thank you pastor mark growth love you love you classic truck rescue peace out for reals this time for reals like comment ding, hit the notification button yeah one more thing i wanted to add no matter what you decide to do in a situation like this contact your local wildlife officials they give you good information and i did contact ours so make sure you do that to cross your t's and dot your i's they'll give you good advice they're familiar with situations like these i'll have an upcoming video with some wildlife officials out here on the property doing a survey that i didn't i've already done the video they've already done the survey but i haven't made the movie yet